Right. If you graduated high school and went toward comedy when all your other friends were veering toward toward all music. Towards music. Well, how, how come you didn't go toward music? Um, I couldn't find the right band. That's really what it came down yeah. to. I was, uh, I tried one or two different places, but the, you know, stand-up was way more natural for me. I had a silly childhood, silly parents, silly family, so that was a lot easier. But it wasn't a tragic childhood. It wasn't, wasn't a tragic. disturbed childhood. No, no. it wasn't disturbed. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna hear Most something because oh, yeah, exactly. Comics say, "Oh, I had this this terrible childhood." And it was horrible. I was born with no feet. Right. <laughs> My father would beat us. Our dog would lick our wounds. All right. <laughs> no, you yeah. didn't have that. No. But you, you grew up in in a uh, low income housing. Yeah, but you didn't know it though. No, you, I didn't, you didn't know, know it. it. I was like, I didn't know we were poor when I grew up. I mean, technically, yes, we you know we're the typical dysfunctional family. It's about eight of us with six different fathers. <laughs> and um, I grew up in a housing project, which I didn't even know it was until years later when I went to go pick up a friend. I'm like, hey, we're going to Fenwood Apartments. I'm like, the projects? <laughs> the low income houses? I'm like, hey, I used to live there. And um, so yeah, I didn't even realize that. And then for years we lived in someone else's house, the Ling's. We lived in the Ling's house and we rented the upstairs and I was, I was this fat kid, I was 82 pounds in kindergarten. So I just remember every day, I was really into Batman. So every time the Lings would leave, they're like, you stop, you all day long, all I hear is, boom, dun, 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 dun. you roll upstairs, be Batman all day. No more watching Batman. <laughs> it's me jumping off the bed. And, you know. All right, so, now you brought up Batman. You you told me, when we, yeah. when we talked a few weeks ago, that the variety shows, of the 60s and Flip 70s. Flip Wilson show. That was your your inspiration. Yes, Flip Wilson, laughing. Uh, you were just a, a I was four or five years. See, in TV, um, when I was about five or six, what I loved about TV then, which I would love to see again, is I remember sitting down with my sister, who was about 16, 17. I was about five. And my parents were late 40s, early 50s. And all of us were able to sit down and watch TV together. And there was nothing, you know, Sonny and Cher, it was Red Skelton, I right. believe. Yes. It was all these great shows that everyone could sit down. Now it's, it, there's nothing like that now. And you say you would like to see that come back. That, there's no reason why we can't. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, why can't we? Because we live in a dark society where now we must sell sex and darkness and sin and money and deceit. <laughs> One nation under God. Keep selling. Keep selling. It's a shame he won't come out of his shell. <laughs>